the truth about the Las Vegas housing market. And that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll. Damian Barton, her sidekick. Yes, and before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. And if you are thinking about buying real estate here in the Las Vegas Valley, just always give me a call at 702-370-5112, or you can reach me, reach out to me by email. Anyway, so I've meditated on this a lot. Damian knows this. Uh -huh. And this morning, woke up at five in the morning and had this like epiphany not epiphany because I've had this epiphany but I needed to get it out I, um, because there's a lot going on with the Las Vegas real estate market and I am an experienced licensed real estate agent I've been in the business for seven years but before that I was in management for 20 years I was a manager for 20 years so I have a strong business sense um, my clients know me as a very ethical very honest agent and I'll speak what I feel is the truth. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not the truth, but it's my truth, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? Um, so I typed this up this morning um, while Damien was out exercising and I um, up. had to pump his muscles up and I like, <laughs> had a lot to go. So let's get started and, and I'm gonna talk to you about the, the nitty gritty of what's really going on. So there are a lot of YouTubers out there stating that the Las Vegas housing market is crashing. They're making statements like, don't buy now, it's a disaster, um, what other little things, um, it gets worse, all this stuff, okay? So these doom and gloomers is what I like to call them, are only looking at it as a national picture of what's going on nationally with the housing market. They're not looking at it in a micro, I guess you would say, for mm -hmm. economics purposes, of really what's going on with the Las Vegas housing market. Um, and of course, all this sounds better, then I can't really surmise what I really typed up. I will post a link to this blog post so you can really see my thoughts of what I was thinking. But ultimately, back in 2019 and before that, people were stating that the doom and gloomers were stating that the Las Vegas housing market was gonna crash in 2020. Well, January 2020, the market came and it was, it took off like, like a rocket, it was doing great. Then we had COVID that hit and so three months there was a lull, but once June came back, oh my God, it took off even better than probably what people were predicting it to be. Way, way better. Way better. Um, and then in 2020, a lot of money. 2021 went great, right? And then 2022, as we know, was a crazier year. So back in 2020 and 2021, I had clients that told me that they wanted to wait the market out. Mm -hmm. They wanted to hold off and see what's going to happen with the Las Vegas, Las Vegas housing market because they felt that the prices will go down. Mm -hmm. Well, boy, were they ever wrong because the prices didn't go down. It kept on going up and up and up. And if you would have bought back then how much equity you would have gained in those two years, right? Um, or even if you bought five years ago, because mm -hmm. everyone thinks that the market is gonna crash, right? Obviously, when May, sorry, my breakfast, we're gonna go show houses right now, that's how busy we are. <laughs> May of 2020, yeah, tie it all in together. <laughs> May of 2022, what happened was we hit our peak at the median price at 482,000, okay? Mm -hmm. Then the Fed started increasing the interest rates. People got scared. So of course, the median price declined. And okay. we've gone over this in our market update. Policy You'll, changes caused yeah, that. Policy changes caused the decline in the median price. Mm -hmm. Not because of um, what happened in 20, 2008, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. With the fraudulent ending, okay? So that was the only key indicator as to why the market declined was because of interest rate hikes. So in December of 2022, the median price fell to 425,000, which is 57,000 from the P. 
peak of the market in May of 2022. In January 2022, the median price remained the same. February, I mean 23, February, the median price dropped by five dollars to 495,995. Here in Vegas. In Vegas. And then in March, the median price increased by five dollars back to 425,000. So relatively speaking, the median price for the last four months has been flat. It has been remained the same, technically, at 425,000. And last month, if you went over our market update, or if you watched our market update, there were only roughly a little under 4,200 single family homes on the market with only 1.8 homes or Over inventory, yeah. 1.8 months of inventory, which is very, 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 very light, okay? So what that's telling me is that sellers are not coming out to play. One, they have their homes at a great interest rate, either they recently bought or they refinanced it at a super duper low interest rate, no reason to sell. Why would they sell and then buy a house that has a higher interest rate? Does it make sense? And I feel that the houses that are on the market are sellers that actually have to sell. Or they're moving. Or they're moving, exactly, well, they have to sell. So my point is that these doom and gloomers were predicting that for 2023, that there will be an abundance of homes on the market. Okay. All day long. All day long, they said the market's gonna crash, everyone's going into foreclosure, um, even then, back then in 2020, when people were doing the, um, when they took their mortgage and they put it on the back end because of COVID, they said that those homes, if they can't afford it, they'll go into bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. Very limited bankrupt homes or SEO or, you know. Years later. Yeah. Anyway, the point is, is that there's not an abundance of inventory on the market. People make it sound like it's worse than real, what it really is. Another point is that these doom and gloomers will show you a Zillow picture showing you how horrible it is and all the price decreases on Zillow. But in reality, the seller probably listed their house too high to begin with. That's why you're seeing those price reductions, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> There's that going on too. There's a lot of that going on. And excuse me, I'm going off. Um, so I went over that. Uh, so basically, if you were to listen to the doom and gloomers over the last three years, then ultimately you wouldn't have bought, you would have lost out on a lot of equity. And a lot of equity. You would have lost out on, on super duper great interest rates, right? So now these doom and gloomers are saying that um, don't buy in 2023. Expect it now by the end of 2023 or the beginning of 2024 to be really bad. But as, again, an experienced real estate agent and what the numbers are actually telling us is painting a whole different picture okay I can't predict what's gonna happen by the end of this year things may change things can change the feds could increase the rates mm -hmm. right now they're like to stabilize because of what happened to that bank in San Francisco right uh -huh. SBB Bank SB Bank and then first Republic's having issues now yeah because of those interest rate hikes, they kind of hurt those big banks, right? Mm -hmm. So I can't predict what's gonna happen, but I can only predict the now. But you know, I'm the in the in the moment type of person and I can predict maybe a month or two ahead. And I've been saying this for the last how many months, four or five months now, expect an increase. You've been right, actually. The market has shifted. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. These doom and gloomers say don't buy, don't buy, don't buy. I was the one that was saying bye, 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 right? And your clients are very happy because of that. I was saying bye, bye, bye. I was saying back in November, December, buy new construction, buy new construction. All these other people were writing comments on my YouTube channel saying, you know, you're just a greedy salesperson. You're a used car salesperson. You're not real. While they're saying to the doom and gloomers, thank you guys. Thank you so much for being an honest person. We really appreciate your honesty. <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. But is he really painting a great picture for you guys? Is he really being honest, in my opinion? Is it reflective of what's actually happening in the markets? Or is it just an experience, a subjective experience? I think with that person in particular, or those people that are saying don't buy, is one, he's not getting the sales, so he doesn't know what the market really is like. He's not analyzing the Las Vegas numbers. He's only going what nationally is happening and not what's happening locally. Okay. I think, but nationally is good too. You want to keep track of that as well. Yes, 
talking it back. It is, but, but but you have to also look at the at the market that you're currently in. He makes a statement saying, "Las Vegas homes for sale. It's over. Gets worse. Disaster." But then he goes over the national stuff and doesn't really bring in as a whole what the real numbers are for the Las he Vegas says, market. He says it's a disaster. Then you see the new construction uh, developers raising their prices. Right, right, right. So we're going to go over that. So there are two indicators, in my opinion, of why the market and why I had been predicting, and you guys thought I was crazy, increases in the median price. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because of this limited inventory, What's happening? We still have buyers out there. We still have people selling their homes back east, back west. People that want to relocate because they don't like the cold anymore. They want to take advantage of the no state income tax. They, they still want to move here. They still made great money with the sale of their homes wherever they're located and they want to buy it in Las Vegas because Las Vegas has a lot going for itself. The Oakland A's just signed, they're coming. Yes. We have the Raiders, we have the Golden Knights, we have the professional NBA team for the women's. We have all of this going for it's us. It's been raining. It's been raining. <laughs> The water situation is not as dire as everyone is saying, okay? Um, anyways, so the point is I got to hurry up because we're meeting clients in 10 minutes. I got to wrap this all up. Being boots on the ground, mm -hmm. what we're seeing is new construction. So the first observation is because of the limited inventory in the resale market, people are going towards new construction, okay? Prime example, we just learned this yesterday. Mm -hmm. Damien and I went to Alpine Ridge, a brand new community in Kyle Point in the northwest part of Las Vegas by TriPoint Homes. They opened up April 22nd and they sold, they opened, released two lots, mm -hmm. two phases, sorry. Two phases, yeah. And they sold eight lots. eight lots. They sold all the lots in those two phases. They will be releasing four more lots on May 20th. Um, but they sold out. And now there's a wait list. So now there's a wait list. <laughs> there's a wait list. There's a wait list. And then in Nighthawk. It's a disaster. There's a wait list. By KB Homes <laughs> in the Kestrel Commons Village. There's a wait list. There's a wait list. It's the end of the world. <laughs> Talus over there in KB Kyle Homes. Canyon. KB Homes. What is there? There's a, a wait list. list. What okay. is happening here? What's so, dogs and cats living together? <laughs> wait lists. <laughs> wait lists are back, folks. The apocalypse. Wait lists are back, okay? Um, and I'm not saying that you can't get a good deal. Now, okay, so the builders, some builders still have move-in ready or quick move-in homes, and the builders are still offering some of them on the quick move-in homes a finance, great um, interest rates, right? A great incentives, right? But the, some of them, because remember when we were over here at Castellana, yeah. the rep says that they're not doing any more discounts. Right. They were because they noticed an uptick in the market and they're starting to sell again. Well, that's where the good deals are. That's where the good deals were. <laughs> they were, yeah. So it's market so if you market's shifting. The market's shifting. If you would have listened to me a month ago, I two months just, ago, three months ago, I when I, I said, knock you right now, I now's the time to buy new construction, <laughs> these incentives are crazy. Get them while it's hot. You should have bought that. But again, you can still get a good deal. You just need an agent that knows how to there negotiate and get you an experience agent that sold a lot of quick move in homes, a lot of new construction, resale, etc., to get you that deal. Okay. And to the right, we have the arches right. if you're interested. Yeah, we're passing the arches. <laughs> we're driving around Red Point, going to meet our clients at Acadia Ridge by Toll Brothers. Point as being is that the quick move in homes are slowly depleting or fastly depleting now. And the only reason they were given the incentives is because these builders want to close out in those communities. Okay. Um, so you still can get a good deal, but again, use an agent, mm -hmm. an experienced one. Now, the other indicator for me is that we have been super busy showing houses and in the MLS, before I even print the sheet, I always like to look in the agent to agent remarks. Mm -hmm. It's not even worth showing if there's multiple offers. What I'm seeing in the agent to agent remarks is produce your highest and best offer. You know what that multiple means? Multiple offers. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, it's, well, it's the season two. It's just, we get granted. Well, granted, we mm -hmm. are in the spring selling season. But this is important information that you need to know to make a, uh, a judgment call for your family, for your life, for where you want to go. Right. 
I mean, you need to have the facts and to see, you know, all you need to hear well, all the point is, is that these doom and gloomers, these people say, don't buy, don't buy, don't buy, because the market's going to crash, the prices are going to go down. It's not happening. It may be at the end of the year. Maybe. Maybe, maybe yeah. You know, you can bet on the end of the world once, and it's always a long shot. And right. if, if that does happen, we're all in it together anyway. So, <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't like that the prices go up, mm -hmm. obviously. I don't like that it's becoming unaffordable to the average person, right? Okay, I get that. Uh, you know, living here in America has become quite costly, mm, not just in Las Vegas. The cost of living's gone up, gas has gone up, food, food's everything. gone up, electricity's gone mm -hmm. up, everything's gone up. It's so freaking expensive. Mm -hmm. And I understand that the feds thought by doing this, it would help reduce inflation. But in my opinion, the number one thing that caused this inflation was COVID. Because sounds, people were reevaluating their living situation and they wanted to live in a place that had lower state income taxes, lower property taxes. They were flocking to Texas. They were flocking to Florida, Tennessee, Washington, Nevada. Okay, they were they flocking. Wanted, yeah. They wanted good weather and they wanted their money to go further. Exactly. So, and then with COVID things, people were working from home. Mm -hmm. Things changed a lot, right? Sorry, breakfast in a, in a whatever. So what happened was that's why the housing market boomed, okay? The demand increased because people wanted to move. They can sell their houses in California and Seattle and, and back east and make tons of friggin' money. Mm -hmm. Had equity in their house, had cash, come to Vegas and buy a house cash, mm -hmm. okay? So with that high pent up demand and still very low inventory, the prices just went cray cray. They shot up, okay? And then we also had supply chain issues. Because the builders and the supplies couldn't keep up with the building, then we had supply chain issues, plus you had COVID, so people couldn't work, couldn't build things, blah, blah, blah. So with that high demand, the prices went up on appliances, windows, doors. Remember, wood? Wood was like... That went nuts. That went crazy high, okay? So anyway, folks, even then, people were saying, don't buy, don't buy, blah, blah, blah. But we're still here. We're still here. The world hasn't ended. And I'm, what I'm trying to say is that I don't like that the prices increased the way it did. I don't like that it's unaffordable. But to me, the one number one thing was because of COVID. If we didn't have COVID, I don't think we would be in this situation wholeheartedly. I don't think it would be there. I'm a very realistic and I'm very... Not to know, this degree anyway. Not to this degree. Mm -hmm. the, the prices would continue to trend upward for sure, 100%. That's with inflation and everything. It kind yes, of, kind but of it wouldn't together. have taken... Wouldn't have gone that crazy. Right. Anyway, guys, um, this has been eaten at me because, you know, as a fellow YouTuber, I kind of watch other YouTubers in the Las Vegas market to see what they're saying. Yeah. Um... But the Las Vegas Realtor produces this report every month, and this is the numbers I go off of. These are actual factual numbers. They're not a lie. Mm -hmm. So they are painting a different picture than what the doom and gloomers are saying. And right now, we will be doing a market update very soon, Rob and I. And I suspect that we are going to have an increase in the beanie price. I don't know by how much, but it will increase. I know sales will increase. Mm -hmm. I have five closings next month. Yeah, it's, it's pretty busy. It's been pretty busy. Um, now, summertime, we get a low, lull. Um, so that could change. And then, you know, winter will change. But I don't think that um, we will drop to 2020 numbers or even 2021 numbers. Okay. Anyway, guys, enough about my rant. I just had to get it out. And I, again, I've typed this up. It's very well detailed, much better written than what I can convey it in, in vocally. Off the cuff. Yeah. <laughs> Off the cuff. Um, but. But passionate. Yeah. Nonetheless. Click on the link <laughs> and it'll give you exactly my thoughts of what's the truth about the Las Vegas real estate market. If you guys like this video too, uh, you know, make a comment or you know, let us know and things you want to go into, um, please, because this is a this is a, a little different approach. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Driving thoughts. I've done a couple of these driving thoughts okay. before in the past. 
I don't do them too often. Um, you know, we've been going through a lot with the remodeling and, and business and etc. So, but when I get time and I'm really like have a passion about it and it's not going to last an hour long because we know we love Rob, but he kind of can talk a lot. Yeah. He's <laughs> a good guy. We love you, Rob. Yeah. Um, <laughs> good man. But, uh, just the nitty gritty of my thoughts of what, what I feel is happening with the market. Anyway, if you like my channel, make sure that you like and subscribe. Yes. Because I talk a lot about Las Vegas real estate, new construction homes, Summerlin, lots in the northwest part of the Las Vegas Valley. That's where I specialize in. But I will sell you any home anywhere in the valley, right? You Not do all just, of Las Vegas. I do all of Vegas mm -hmm. and Henderson and North Las Vegas. Anyway, folks, thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you on the next video. Have a beautiful day.